massive, ambitious, sandbox MMO. These are all words that could be used to describe Dual Universe. I'm Steven with PC Gamer. We are here day one of PAX West, and I'm here with JC Bailly. We're talking about Dual Universe. JC, why don't you tell me all about Dual Universe? What is this game? I think there are two main things to, to know about it. Sure. Uh, it's an MMO, sci-fi, RPG. But the, the, the key thing is that uh, it's what we call a continuous single shard, means that everybody plays in the same world at the same time. There's one central server for everybody to play in, potentially millions of people sharing the same world and you know building a collective story all together. The second big thing is that everything in this world is entirely editable. The planets, of course, but also your spaceships, your buildings or space stations. Anything you want you can build, anything you want you can modify. So it's like a giant sandbox that combines elements of Maybe I would say EVE Online, you know, with all the emergent gameplay that, that we like very much. Uh, but that also a bit of Minecraft, even though, you know, the look is much more realistic. There's no cube, you can really sculpt any shape you like and so on. It's based on uh, uh, voxel technology. So basically, these two concepts, we unite into one game, uh, which is Dual Universe. Great. Now, you mentioned Minecraft. Uh, can you give us an idea, what are some of the things that we're going to be building in this game? Well, uh, ships to start with, I guess a lot of people will want to build their ships, but you can also build large uh you know, castles, outposts, uh, you know, structures. Uh, you can also build giant space stations, so things in orbit that will be very massive. Uh, there's an example in our demo where we've built something like, like it's about one kilometer, it's really big. It's up to the players to, you know, fire their imagination and imagine what they want to do. So technically we have added uh, elements, you know, so, uh, what we call uh, elements is like a door or a cockpit or an engine or in more interactive way, we have also added some detectors for presence or pressure plates, lasers that, you know, when you cross it emits a signals, uh, lights, of course, that you can switch on, switch off, all sorts of things, including, um, you know, and or gates, if you want to go into right. programming some kind of electronic... Uh, <laughs> you can really go in depth with it. You can do that. And the, the end game is <laughs> uh, using Lua, which is a, a simple scripting language that is really, really very easy to learn. Uh, and if you're really into programming, you can even program in Lua all these different interactive elements. It, it's completely op optional. Uh, because sometimes you know people are scared, but that is completely optional. You can enjoy enjoy the game and already you know make a lot of contraptions and puzzles without Lua. But if you do use it, you can go well as far as you want. It's a programming language. Right now. One of the great things about Minecraft is people build ridiculous stuff. There's calculators, there's hard drives, things like that. Are you able to talk about some of the absurd things that you can build uh, using the Lua scripting in Dual Universe? You, you can certainly build a, a computer, uh, but since you have Lua scripting, I think the you know the the benefit of doing that is a bit less because you already have a full-fledged language and a full-fledged computer within the game. Uh, but then you can plug a screen to that. Right? And this screen you can program. And we made, for example, a very quickly a, a small breakout game you know, that you can play within the game. So there's a game within the game. I like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you could possibly use this screen to display anything, like your ship in 3D with the damaged areas in real time, things like that. So it's really, again, up to the players to invent what they want. And we really believe in the creativity of the players to create amazing things in the game. Our job, our vision is to just give people the tools so they can do what they want. This is very important. This is the vision. Uh, and the second thing is to give them the tools so that they can exchange with each other. So you may have maybe 1% of the players who are going to script in Lua, build beautiful ships, etc. But the 99%, the others, they will enjoy it through the in-game markets where they can buy those things already made by others. And so you see that you don't really need to be a programmer or a shipbuilder to enjoy it. Wow, that sounds really cool. So if people are uh, interested, they want to know more, what's the best way to do that? Well, we have a website, of course. Uh, I would recommend going to community.dualthegame.com. Uh, it's a place where there's our crowdfunding campaign still going on up to the, the, the 7th of September, where it shuts down. Uh, and on the same page, you have also our organization uh, section. Organization is like guilds. And if you go there, you will see there's already more than 1,500 organizations. And it's amazing. Some of them have, are, have close to 500 members. And if you look at what those guys are showing, you know, it's, it's full of projects. You know, we're we're going to build the Death Star. We're going to build the biggest industrial <laughs> corporation. We're going right. to do whatever. You know, we're we're going to build an empire. So people are already role playing and setting goals for themselves, even though the game is not out. Uh, big news is that the game is going to enter pre-alpha uh, at the end of September, on the 30th of September. 
and everyone who has backed us at gold level or above will be able to access the game at this time. It's about 2,000 people that will get in Dual Universe to, to try it first. Only on the building gameplay. This is very important. We, we have not yet implemented everything, so we start with this first step. Uh, building means that uh, your inventory will be full of all the things you need and you will be free to you know, create all the stuff we, we just talked about. Right, right. That sounds awesome. As a huge fan of EVE Online, I'm really excited by this game. Uh, so definitely go to the website, check it out, and uh, stay tuned. we got a lot more great stuff coming out of PAX West.